Hello families. Hello my sweet littles. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing really good. I did yoga this morning with Bo's mommy online. I watched her video and I practiced along with her and that made me really, really calm inside. And then I went for a walk and I ate some yummy food that was organic and from my garden and I cleaned and I watered my plants. What did you do today? Hmm, maybe you can draw a picture. Maybe you can write a story about what you did today. I'm gonna encourage you to try to write down and journal, which means writing every day, your experiences that you have. And if you're still practicing your writing, maybe you can have a loved one take down a pen and a paper and write your stories for you and you can draw the pictures. We are going to be looking at a beautiful book by Jan Brett and this was a book that was given to me by Jamie Lewis and look at how beautiful the pictures are. This is Goldilocks and the Three Bears and it's being retold by and illustrated by Jan Brett who we love because she has beautiful pictures and I wanted to share something that Jamie gave to me that I absolutely love. And it's a dinnerware set and it has little plates, bowls, saucers for tea, large dinner plates, so many beautiful things. And since we're reading Goldilocks where they're eating off of different bowls and plates, I wanted to share with you this absolutely stunning set that Jamie gave to me. I love it so much. You all know how much I love white roses and there's white roses in the center and how much I love green. So this is the most beautiful gift for me. So thank you, Jamie, very much again for thinking of me and taking care of me and my heart and my soul and gifting this beautiful set to me. Children, this is a beautiful set that was given to her by her mother and then also her mother received it from her mother, so her grandmother, and her mother passed it down to her. And these were plates that they took a lot of time to acquire in Nebraska, in a small town that she used to live in a long time ago. And they worked really hard to save up just to get these beautiful plates. And now I'm gonna be serving beautiful Thanksgiving dinners and tea when I have company, when we can have company over on these plates and it's gonna warm my heart every time I look at them. I may not, I may not use them as much. I may use them to look beautiful. <laughs> I don't want them to get ruined, but with beautiful plates like this that have gold edges, you never put them in the dishwasher. I don't have a dishwasher, so that, that's actually okay. You wanna nice, softly wash them. Things that are very special to you and be very gentle and careful with them, right? Mm -hmm. We do. Thank you, Jamie. They're beautiful. I love you. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and get our lavender on. Actually, I'm going to put this on the table. <laughs> and, oh, I used my lavender for my yoga this morning. Okay, just imagine I'm putting on my lavender. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I don't have the lavender, but let's take a deep breath. Inhale, exhale, beautiful. But I do have my candle, so let's start the candle process. I'm missing my lavender, although I am wearing it all over me, as well as some rose, rose oil as well. So I am pretty fragrant right now. I smell like flowers. And our candle. Let's put our candle right over here. Mm -hmm. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Mm. Oh, look, they have beautiful flowers that she's drew. Oh, and a mushroom and a bee. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Here's Goldilocks. And you can see on the side, you know how Jan Brandt does the beautiful pictures on the side? There's a bear family, and there's Goldilocks. Oh, and there's the bear family on the side again, too. Looks like Goldilocks is picking flowers. And here she is, 
going into the forest and she sees a house in a beautiful little meadow. It's funny, that's exactly how I always pictured it. I always told the story a little differently to Joshua and I created it out of my imagination. Here's how she's going to tell it. Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived together in a house of their own in a wood. One of them was a little, small, wee bear, and one was a neat middle-sized bear, and the other was a great, huge bear. Look at all these beautiful designs. Look at their different costumes that, or outfits that they have on. And look, they're playing with the little baby bear. So cute. I love this book. They each had a bowl for their porridge, a little bowl for the little small wee bear, a middle-sized bowl for the middle-sized bear, and a great huge bowl for the great huge bear. And they each had a chair to sit in, a little chair for the little small wee bear, a middle-sized chair for the middle-sized bear, and a great huge chair for a great huge bear. And they each had a bed to sleep in, a little bed for the little small wee bear, a middle-sized bed for the middle-sized bear, and a great huge bed for the great huge bear. <laughs> now, you're taking a look at it looks like one of the larger bears. You can see their bowls in the shells. You can see the small wee bowl, the middle, and the great big bowl. And here's the little tiny bear, and he's playing with a butterfly, and he's underneath his chair. And on the side here, you can see the different beds. The wee size bed, the middle size bed, and the great huge bed for the great huge bear. It looks like she's putting honey on her bread. Oh, I want honey and bread so much. <laughs> it's so yummy. <gasps> mm. One day after they had made their porridge for breakfast and poured it into the porridge bowls, they walked out into the woods while the porridge was cooling. Okay, so you can see here's their house. And they walk out into the forest and the little wee bear, he's playing and discovering things. And there's his mama, the middle-sized bear. She's watching the baby, making sure he's okay. And the daddy is going off and looking at the different things in the garden. It looks like those are really large sunflowers. But over here on the side, you can see Goldilocks is in the forest. And she's sort of in that same area, but off in the distance. And while they were walking, a little girl named Goldilocks came to their house. First, she looked at the window, and then she peeped into the keyhole. And seeing no one was at home, she lifted the latch. Oh, now, children, do we go into a house that is not ours? No, we do not. So this was maybe where Goldilocks should have perhaps not gone in. The door opened before her, and she went in. Oh, oh my goodness. So here she is looking inside the windows and then here she is opening the door and going inside. Hmm. How pleased Goldilocks was when she saw the steaming porridge on the table. The sweet smell of porridge with roasted nuts, honey, and berries filled the room. It was so tempting that Goldilocks set about helping herself. First, she tasted the porridge of the great huge bear, but it was too hot. And then she tasted the porridge of the middle-sized bear, but it was too cold. And then she tasted the porridge of the little, small, wee bear, and it was neither too hot nor too cold. It was just right. She liked it so much that she ate it all up. Oh no, she ate all the porridge here. The big bowl, the medium-sized bowl, and the small bowl and she's going to eat all of the baby's porridge and here's the bears off in the distance looking in the 
woods and going on an adventure. And here's the baby bear. He found what it looks like as a bee skep, which is also a bee house that somebody has created. It doesn't look like it's something that the bees created. It's made out of straw. The, then Goldilocks sat down in the chair of the great huge bear, but it was too hard for her. Then she sat down in the chair of the middle-sized bear, but it was too soft for her. And then she sat down in the chair of the little, small, wee bear, and this chair was neither too hard nor too soft, but just right. So Goldilocks seated herself in it, and there she sat until the bottom of the chair gave way, and down she came, plump, upon the floor. Uh-oh. So here she is in the larger, or she was in the larger one. Here's the larger one. Here's the really soft one, the medium-sized one. And uh-oh, there she is, breaking the small chair. Then Goldilocks went upstairs to the bedroom in which the three bears slept. First, they, she lay down upon the bed of the great, huge bear, but that was too high in the, at the head for her. Next, she lay down upon the bed for the middle-sized bear, but she, that was too high at the foot for her. Hmm. Then she lay down upon the bed of the little, small, wee bear, and that was neither too high nor too low at the foot but just right. And so she covered herself up comfortably and fell fast asleep. Hmm. So here she is entering the bedroom and here she is testing out the bed. And that happens to be the great big bed, too high at the top. By the time the three bears uh, thought their porridge would be cool enough to eat, Oh, by this time, excuse me, the three bears thought that their porridge would be cool enough to eat, so they returned home for breakfast. Now Goldilocks had left the spoon of a great huge bear standing in his porridge. <gasps> Somebody has been at my porridge, said the great bear with his great rough, rough voice. And when the middle-sized bear looked at hers, she saw that the spoon was standing in it too. <gasps> Somebody has been eating at my porridge, said the middle-sized bear in her middle voice. Then the little small wee bear looked at his bowl and the spoon was in the porridge bowl, but the porridge was all gone. Somebody's been at my porridge and it's eaten all up, said the little small wee bear. And the little, in his little small wee voice, <clears throat> so they're not pleased. And you can see on the side where Goldilocks is actually fast asleep in the bed. And here they're very dismayed to find that the porridge is all gone. Upon this, the three bears, seeing that someone has entered their house and eaten up little small wee bear's breakfast, began to look about them. Now, Goldilocks had not put the hard cushion straight when she rose from the chair from the great big huge bear. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said the great huge bear in his great rough, gruff voice. And Goldilocks had crumpled the soft cushion of this middle-sized bear. Somebody's been sitting in my chair, said the middle-sized bear in her middle-sized voice. And you know what Goldilocks had done to the third chair. Somebody has been sitting in my chair and has sat on the bottom right out of it, And the, said the little small wee bear in his little small wee voice. I didn't say that in a small wee voice, did I? I'll try better next time. There is <laughs> the the big bear not pleased and there's the little baby bear so unhappy that his chair has been broken right through then the bears thought it necessary that they should make a further search so they went upstairs to the bedroom now goldilocks had pulled the pillow of the great huge bear out of its place somebody has been lying in my bed said the great huge bear in its great rough gruff voice and goldilocks had pulled the cover of the middle-sized bear out of its place Somebody's been lying in my bed, said the middle-sized bear in her middle-sized voice. Oh, I don't know if I'm getting the voices right. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to see. <laughs> and then there's the mama. She's not pleased. But look at how pretty her little dress is. It's so cute with the little strawberries. Mm. And then the little small wee bear came to look at his bed. There was Goldilocks sleeping peacefully, her long shiny braids spread across this pillow. Little small wee bear just stared at her for a moment and didn't say anything. But then he cried, somebody has been laying in my bed 
and here she is. Aw, she looks very peaceful, but she should not be in their house. This is not okay. <laughs> she should not have entered. She should ask first for sure. Goldilocks had heard in her sleep the great, rough, gruff voice of the great, huge bear and in the middle voice of the middle-sized bear, but it was only as if she had heard someone speaking in a dream. But when she heard the little, small, wee voice of the little, small, wee bear, it was so sharp and so shrill and so like her own that she awakened. It awakened her at once. Uh oh So here you see the big bear and the middle bear and the baby bear staring directly at Goldilocks, who is now opening her eyes and waking up to see them. I really like Mama Bear's little headband that she has here. That's really pretty. <gasps> up she started, and when she saw the three bears on one side of the bed, she tumbled herself off the other and ran to the window. <gasps> Out, Goldilocks jumped and ran away as fast as she could run, not looking behind her until she was very far away. Oh, you can see, do you see little mice in the page? Can you find them? Here she is jumping out of the bed and out through the window, which is interesting because they were on in another space, I guess. They weren't upstairs? I thought they were upstairs. Oh, she went on the roof. You can see her jumping out the window and onto the roof. And what happened to Goldilocks afterwards? No one can tell, but the three bears never saw anything more of her. Oh, so here is the family holding each other and comforting each other after such an ordeal. And here's the little mouselings. And here is Goldilocks out in the woods, but not coming near the cottage. Bum, bum. Oh, and here's the baby bear on the back. I hope that you enjoyed this retelling of The Goldilocks and the Three Bears by Jan Brett. And I hope that you take care today and go out in your garden and find some beautiful things. But remember, we should always knock on doors and only come in if we are invited. Mm -hmm. Everyone, I love you so much and I hope you have a beautiful day. Mwah.